Three of the five positive integers, P, Q, R, S, T, are even, and two of them are odd, not necessarily in the order. So, out of these five integers, three of them are even, right? Three of them are even, and two of them are odd. But we don't know out of this which one is odd and which one is even. We don't know the order, but we know that three of them are even. Three even numbers are there, and there are two odd numbers. Okay, and which of the following are correct answers? Correct statements. Which of the following are correct? That's the question here. So before we solve this question, let's discuss about few properties of odd even numbers. Okay. So let's say you are adding two odd numbers. I'm adding two odd numbers. What would be the corresponding result? Odd number you are adding with another odd number. The result is going to be even. You can take simple example, right? You can take 1 plus 3. The result is 4, which is an even number. Let's say if you're adding one odd and another even number, what will be the result? Let's say you can take 1 and the even number is 2. 1 plus 2 will give you 3, which is an odd result. Let's say if you're adding an even number with an odd number, the result will be the same, right? It's going to be odd. You can take another example. Let's say you can take three. Or for example, let's say you can take two here. And I'm adding an odd number. Let's say one. Two plus one will give you the same three, which is odd number. What happens when you're adding two even numbers? Let's say an even number plus even number. The final result is going to be always even. So you can take example two. I'm adding four. Two even numbers you're adding. The result is six, which is another even number. So from this rules keep in mind keep in mind that if you're adding the like terms let's say odd plus odd or even plus even see both of them are like terms right see two odd numbers you're adding or two even numbers you're adding definitely the result is always even so if you're adding two like terms that means two odd or two even terms the result is gonna be even result if you're adding two unlike terms say odd plus even both of them are unlike. Similarly, even plus odd, two unlike terms. If you're adding, the result is always odd. Always keep in mind. The same rule is applied for subtraction. Okay, the same rule. See, you're subtracting two odd numbers, odd minus odd. See, like terms, if you subtract, the result is always even. Let's say even minus even also will give the same. The result is always even. But unlike terms, if you subtract similar to addition, so let's say if you have odd number, from that I'm subtracting an even number, the result is odd. Or let's say an even number, I'm subtracting an odd number, the result is also odd. The same rule for addition and subtraction, they have the same rule. So remember, like terms, if you add or subtract, the result is even. Unlike terms, if you add or subtract, the result is odd. The next property that you need to know is for multiplication. Similarly, we have some rules for multiplication. Okay, let's say you're multiplying. Let's say you have odd number. You're multiplying with an odd number. The result is odd. You can take an example. Let's say you have three. You multiply with another odd number. Let's say five. The result is 15, which is odd number. Let's say you are multiplying an even number with an odd number. Let's say two times five. The result is 10, which is an even number. Let's take another example. Let's say you're multiplying an odd number. You multiply with an even number. Let's say 3 times 2, which is going to be 6, which is also an even number. And one more case you need to consider. You're multiplying two even numbers. Two even numbers, if you multiply, definitely the result is always even. So these are the four conditions that you should consider when you're multiplying two numbers, right? It can be both odd, one even, one odd, or both even. So remember, you can see in the result, majority is even, right? Or we can confirm or we can conclude that if one of the term in the product is even, see? If one of the term, at least one of the term in the product is even, the entire product will be even result. See, even times, even number into any number. An even number, when you multiply with any number, any integer value, let's say it's odd 
or even that doesn't matter the final result is always even keep that in mind and the only way to get an odd result is to multiply two odd numbers that's the only way you get an odd result in terms of multiplication okay you need to multiply two odd numbers that's the only way you get an odd result so these are the rules or properties of odd even numbers we're going to apply in this question okay let's take there are two statements given we need to find which of the above statements are correct let's start with the statement one so statement one is saying that p plus q plus r minus s minus t is definitely even so you should be very clear with this term definitely even means what that means statement one is saying that in all cases the result is even that's what they are saying definitely means in all cases it's going to be even result let's try to analyze it further okay so you have uh, p plus q plus r minus s minus t i need to check whether the result is always even so there are two ways to approach this one is we can use the concept we just now learned you can apply them in this question or you can pick some numbers the challenge here is we don't know out of this five integers which one of them are even or which one of them are odd we don't know we don't have any idea about that we just know that three of them are uh, even and two of them are odd but i don't know out of this which one of them are even and which one of them are odd okay so there are two ways we can solve it as i said you can apply the concept we learned or you can pick some numbers okay we'll come to that point later let's start by applying the concept so we just now learned that addition or subtraction the result is going to be the same correct if you're adding two odd terms or if you're subtracting two odd terms the result is same so you can use the same logic here so you can say that the result of this expression is same as if i replace these subtraction here if i replace with addition the result, result is going to be the same so i can say that let's say p plus q plus r plus s plus t this will have the same result because addition and subtraction of two numbers with respect to the order even will have the same result for that reason i'm saying that this is going to be the same result as the statement one given now it's easy for you to figure out the result here because we are just adding five integers right so out of them three of them are even so let's say you have three even numbers the order doesn't matter right they have three even numbers and two of them are odd right you can easily find the result here right so if you're adding two even numbers the result is going to be even like terms if you add the result is even same even number you are adding with this one the result is always even right two like terms again you are adding it the same result is always even now you have let's say this even and odd if you are adding unlike terms if you had the result is odd and this odd term you add with the last term odd odd plus odd like terms if you are adding here the result is even so we can clearly say that in all cases you are getting an even result so in all cases you will be getting an even result so that means statement one is definitely uh, true in all cases you are getting definitely even so this is one way you can approach the question so the main point we used in this uh, statement one is addition subtraction the the result is going to be the same with respect to order even the addition subtraction the result is going to be the same next approach you can use here is you can pick some numbers here okay but i don't uh, uh, recommend here in this question you can use it as a last resort because picking numbers let's say i'm picking some number for uh, p q r s t right three of them are uh, even here right i'm um, let's say i'm picking let's say this is a uh, 2 this is 4 this is 6 and s and t are odd numbers let's say 1 and 3 now I'm just uh, listing down the statement 1. So statement 1 is let's say P plus Q plus R, right? You're adding these three terms. It's going to be 2 plus 4, 6 plus 6, 12. Then from that I'm subtracting 1, again subtracting 3. That means 11 minus 3, you're getting 8 as a result. You're getting an even result. So that doesn't mean that it's always even, right? 
with the numbers you selected, you are getting an event result. So in that case, when you're picking numbers, your main aim is to prove that this statement is wrong. That should be your main aim. So you should try for different numbers. You can try a different one more set, right? You can try out different. Let's say I'm just changing the numbers here. Okay. Let's say you have P, Q, R, S, T. I'm just changing the numbers. Let's say this is one. This is three. This is two, four, and six. I'm just changing the order. Now let's see what happens. Okay. P plus Q plus R. So P plus Q plus R adding all of them. One plus three is four. Four plus two is six minus uh, four minus six so you're getting uh, minus two sorry two minus six minus four which is an even number see again you got an even result. so that means with the two numbers you uh, plugged in here you got even result so we don't have enough time to prove it wrong we, at this time we can assume that it's always gonna be even that's it because we don't have any choice, right? We don't have the time left. That's a that's a problem with when you're picking numbers. We will not be 100% confident with the answer. Based on the numbers you selected, this is the result you're getting. So that means you're assuming that it's going to be always even. So this is the disadvantage of picking numbers. So always keep in mind, picking numbers should be your last resort. Always stick to the concept or rules you learned initially. Try to solve it using that. If you're not able to proceed further, then definitely think about picking numbers. So definitely I can say statement one is true. What are the options you can eliminate? Option B you can eliminate because it's saying that only statement two is true. So that will not be your answer as well as option D you can eliminate. So at this stage, two options gone. Your answer can be either A or it can be C, both one and two. Now let's start with statement two. So statement 2 says that 2p plus q plus 2r minus 2s plus t. This is the expression and it's saying that it's definitely odd. That means in all cases, you will get only odd result here. Okay. So first thing you should notice that you're multiplying by 2. Stick to the rules, right? When you're multiplying by an even number, this result will always be even doesn't matter whether p is odd or even that doesn't matter if one of the term in the product is even the entire product will always going to be even. so i can clearly say that 2p will be even similarly you have uh, 2r also will be even here and you have 2s this will also be even so now again i'm going to use the rule here i'm adding uh, 2p plus two. i'm adding these two first 2p plus 2r that means you are adding two even terms the result is going to be even like terms when you add or subtract you'll get the even result so here here you're adding two even terms the result is even so i'm just writing down this is the even here from that you are subtracting another even number again the same rule right like terms you subtracted the result is even so you can say that if i if i uh do this calculation that is 2p plus 2r minus 2s the final result is going to be even here Right. So I can rewrite the expression as you have one even result for these three terms I calculated. It's going to be even result. Then what is left is you have Q, then you have T. Two terms left. I need to check what is going to be the output or the result here. I need to check whether it's always is definitely odd. But Q and T, we don't know, right, about Q and T. It could be any... Uh, number right it can be odd it can be even right both of them can be even both of them can be odd one even one odd there are different possibilities right because we don't have any idea about q and t so here what you need to do is this question is type of a definitely odd right you need to check that in all cases it's odd so what you need to do in this such scenario is that you need to prove that this statement is false that means you try to figure out a scenario where this can be an even result. If you are able to prove that this result can be even, we can eliminate this statement. So you should you should think about what uh, is it is it possible that this expression can be even? Yes or no? Think about it. You can just try to pick some numbers here, right? Okay. Let's say you have even. I need to prove that the entire result is even, right? So let's say Q is an odd number. T is also an odd number, right? So this will give you an even result. Do you agree with me? Because odd plus odd 
will give an even result. Even plus even again will give an even result. That's possible. Or I can say Q and E, both of them are even. See, all the three terms here are even, right? Adding all of them will give you an even. That means I just now proved that it is possible this expression can be an even uh, result. So that means I can. I'm, I just now proved that the statement is wrong. Because statement 2 is saying that it's definitely odd. That means in all cases it's odd. I just now proved that it could be an even result. So for that reason, I can eliminate option C. Option A is the right answer for this case.